it, but... Hey, Butterflies, it's your girl, Pam, and we have a special guest today, my Jazzy! <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Y'all have heard so much, and you've seen her on the video, Killing Me. Okay. <laughs> and Brianna, and some other folks. They're all dead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, the old them is dead. The old them. But the new them is well and alive. And got muscles. Oh, but like, yes. yeah. <laughs> But we wanted to come today. I asked Jazz to think of something that she wanted to do. And we kind of came up with something that's a little unique. So I'm really excited about it. So this conversation is going to be to her old self. And I'm gonna insert a picture of her. And what was your weight at that point? My weight at this picture that you're about to see was at my biggest, which was 195. And mine's around 5'7". Yeah, so she, to me, she carried it well in both. But I just mentioned to her when she showed me the picture earlier that I'm sure she feels better. Yes. And so I think it's that's more important than anything else. So. I'm going to let you take it away. <laughs> you know, I hate this since they know it too. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because I'm with it. I'm, I'm for all of it. Because I ain't got no good sense either. For <laughs> but um, this is this is something. This is a practice I actually been practicing myself for quite a while, and it's like now um, pretty deep for me to do this in front of people, especially on camera, where you can go back and play it as many times as you like. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. It's time because I am doing it selflessly, with the intentions of I know this helped me to get to this point, this whole process, 32 years of my life. And now I know that this probably can literally help someone else, if not even save their lives. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> I want to start off, and I'm not talking to you, you beautiful people out there. And I'm butterflies. Butterflies and YouTube, IG, man, <laughs> all those things, social media world. I'm talking to me, the person who was 15, 16 years old in this picture when I decided to make the change. Um, hey, Jazz. And that's how... I start off always by talking to myself. Now that I'm talking to y'all, cut. I'm with y'all. It's me and her now. So, yeah. Looking at myself today and being who that person was back then, I want to tell you, I told you I had you. I told you I was going to take care of you. I told you we was going to make this work. The day when we decided, that it was enough was enough. That was the day everything changed. Yeah, there's a lot that we went through. There's a lot of ups and downs. I, we actually lost the weight, gained it back, and lost it again. But we're here now. That goal that we wanted years ago when we was a little girl, reading about fitness and all this other stuff, and fitness and muscles, about being a bodybuilder, we did it. We're I and VB Pro now. And you ain't gotta, you don't have to live that way no more. You're not that person. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut back in to having a conversation with all you people that's out there. Um, one thing that I had to personally get over with me losing the weight is not seeing that person in the mirror anymore. And even though the scale would say one thing, and I would look in the mirror and I'm like, okay, yeah. And everybody else is saying, whoa, you're tiny, you're this and you're that. But every time I looked in the mirror, I saw 195. Nothing changed. And so I had to make it for me. It's not for nobody else. If you feel like you're comfortable with who you are wholeheartedly, honestly, and truly, kudos. But if you're not, then trust me. It's okay to make a change. Even if people around you are not ready to accept and embrace that change, then that's just maybe God's way of telling you it's time to remove people out of your life. And sometimes, removal doesn't mean negative. Removal means positive for everything. Because now it's time for you to save your own life. Back then, I was very suicidal. I, had, I was very... Non-confidence, that confidence, that wasn't even in my 
vocabulary. It wasn't even in my world confidence, no. And my family tried their hardest to embrace it in me, but it just wouldn't happen. And then on top of that, I and trust me, I am that girl. I am that girl. They will always say, girl, there's nothing wrong with you. You ain't fat, you thick. You fat. <laughs> and that's what I had to tell myself. Be realistic with myself. Because in some ways, yeah, some people may look at it as thick, but I looked at myself as I was very uncomfortable with myself. The deciding factor for me is when I bent over to tie my shoe and I couldn't breathe, enough was enough. Yes, I still have a lot of things that's going on. Physically, as far as the physical aspect of it all, yes, I'm now getting comfortable with who I am. There's a lot of other things inside of me that needs to be taken care of. For myself personal, there will be another version of this to talk about my old habits that had to change. Like, um, I was very into going out and clubbing, and I'm going to be honest, I'm not too proud of it, but yeah, I partaked in doing drugs back then. My lifestyle completely changed. Completely. And I literally have bodybuilding and fitness to thank for that. Thank you, God. All honor and glory to Heavenly Father. I promise you on everything that I love, this is, I'm just a working vessel that's working my behind off. This is God. And all I am is a messenger. So please, if anybody has any questions, concerns, email me, jasmineadams030 at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. I'll even be more than happy to read your stories. And I might even post it on my Instagram page if it's, you know, inspiring enough. And I'm sure it is because I know it'll touch a lot of other people. But it's all about giving back because a lot of people have given to me. A lot of people have gotten to this, and I want I want to also let you guys know this is not a personal. This is a personal journey, and this is a selfish journey, but it's also a selfless journey if you know what I mean. Because once you get there, you have to pass this on. Because there's a lot of other people that need your help, and that's why I'm finally humbling myself. Well, I've always been humble, but finally opening myself up to allow this story to be told. And Pam, thank you no. for giving me the platform to even get it started. Well, I appreciate that. This is my butterfly. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm finally turning to a butterfly. Two months ago, I was a caterpillar. <laughs> I guarantee you. But I, y'all, I just want to say thank you. I love you. And thank you for allowing me to tell my story. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all some more at some point. All right. Some questions. This will not be her last time on the channel, guys. Um, she has been such an intricate part for me and Brianna and so many other people, and I absolutely adore her. Um, not just for the fitness part, sometimes just a sounding board. We've laughed together. We've cried together. <laughs> um, you know, for her to take time out of her schedule, she ended up taking us shopping. Remember I told you guys that at one point and just kind of showing us different healthy things to be able to eat, what to look for on the um, on the back of the boxes, and stuff that, you know, people don't necessarily do. We've gone to the vitamin shop together. We've gone everywhere. So I am um, honored and um, so very proud of her. Um, tell them what your actual title is. My actual title is Jasmine Adams IFBB Pro. All right. I didn't know what, it, what that was, but I was just happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just happy because I kept hearing about her preparing and, you know, I was just like, okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm looking on Instagram, I'm looking and I was just like, okay, I just need to see something. So like, I saw a trophy. I was like, okay, we got it. We got it. So, <laughs> And y'all, I'm getting ready for my pro debut, which is going to be in seven weeks. Um, May 19th is the actual big day out in Shreveport. 
Um, I'm gonna make more posts about it. Gonna talk about it a little bit more, so y'all will know about it if y'all follow me. You. Yeah. Oh, and follow me on Instagram, Jazzy J A S I B A B Y O three, um, on Instagram and um, on Facebook is Jasmine Adams. Just put in my name, J S M I N E A D A M S, and literally you'll get even more pictures. The new me, the old me, everything else in between. Some racy me. Yeah, oh yeah. Woo. Woo. Now I don't have <laughs> ten different pages because I'm just not that kind of a person. Everything that you see on my Instagram page is coming directly. Directly from me, directly from my heart, or directly from my sarcastic little mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what you see is what you get. There's no really no in between, but between that. So, just come on, join it, follow me. I guarantee you, I might make you love me, I might make you hate me, but you would definitely have a great time with me. <laughs> I'll make sure that I link all of her um, social media down below. And welcome to all of our new subscribers. I'm so excited to have yeah. you guys here. To all my other butterflies, I love you so much. Thank you take, for taking time out of your busy schedule. And hopefully you found something inspiring in her story to make you continue to go on your fitness journey. So, if you have not subscribed, make sure that you hit that button below. Make sure you hit that bell to indicate to you that I've uploaded a new video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, butterflies, love you.